Welcome back to my channel. My mom's moved in with us for a couple days. Colin's out of town. And we're starting to vlog off going to Target. Murphy chewed through his leash last night. Actually, I'll just tell you the story really quick. I'll tell you the story quick. So we have to get him a new leash. We were over at Kayla's. Um, Kayla had us over for a little pool party. And we brought Murphy. And Murphy was jumping in the pool all in the pool I'll insert a video here all about it and then for like just the time being we tied him to a tree just to like get a break because he was so excited and like in a new space he just was like losing his mind so we just put him because they have a dog we like tied him up on like a, a leash like longer so he could just chill out for a second so we could have a break and eat and whatnot he chewed through his leash and then ran and jumped in the pool so yeah. Anyway, I have to go get him a new leash. He's out of his mind. Yeah. Pool yard. I know. We're <laughs> we're gonna move into a house, guys. Next story. But um. Anyway, so we're starting the vlog off at Target. We have to go get some things, and a leash for Murph. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay. So we do they have. <laughs> Do you want me to try? Yeah, I don't want to hurt. I wanted to thank today's sponsor of the video, Caseify. I love working with Caseify and I talk to you guys about them all the time. And if you didn't know, they have the best phone cases on the market with a Caseify phone case on my phone, which I've had for years. My phone has never cracked and I truly can trust in case to cases and also exciting because with the new iphone 14 phone coming out we're obviously gonna have cases for the new iphone 14 so if you're planning on getting it i would order a case in advance but also with a new phone case also comes new protection technology so ecoshock is embedded into their iphone 14 impact case ecoshock is the brand new protection technology it has over 20 percent increased protection while also keeping your phone case slim and aesthetically pleasing as usual. So EcoShock has an increased drop protection up to 11.5 feet. Also, they're five times military standard drop protection. And I know I say like military standard drop protection all the time. So that means that their phones are dropped over 130 times or around there to make sure that the EcoShock doesn't wear off of the phone case. And also their new iPhone 14 cases are also made up of 65% recycled and plant-based materials. So I just got in a few new phone cases. I'm so excited. I recently just put this one on my phone. I felt like it was really good to transition into fall with. The back says, you deserve every good thing this world has to offer and nothing less. So cute. Colin actually picked this one out for me. So I like it's different, but I really like it. Like I said, the case options are literally endless. You can find a print for everybody. And even if you give it as a gift or whatever, um, or if you know someone who's getting an iPhone 14 and you want to give them a phone case, you will find something. This one says, you're my favorite person in the world. And this one still has a nice screen. So I can show you guys how like fun it is to unbox your um, case to five phone case. And then this one's just nice and simple. And then here's another example of a print option. I had this one on my phone recently before I just switched and put this one on. Something that I love about Casetify is they're always trying to find the perfect balance between keeping your phone case nice and sleek and simple to throw in your pocket, your purse, while also managing to completely protect your phone. And that is where EcoShock comes into the picture. And I feel like they've really just done it all with the new EcoShock protection technology. Like always, I'm going to be doing the drop test for you guys. So here is my phone before completely Sutton's eating sweet potato right now and having a great time it is not damaged at all no cracks nothing I'm standing on our hardwood floors right now I'm gonna do the drop test look perfect just as good as new I'm telling you guys I don't know how by now if you don't have a case by case I don't know how come 
So clearly Casetify has truly thought of it all and whether you're planning on upgrading your phone to the iPhone 14 or not, you can head to Casetify.com to see their latest iPhone 14 impact series case as well as their cases for iPhone 13 or any earlier phones. Also I do have a discount so you guys can go to Casetify.com slash Bianca Henderson to get 15% off of your order. I will have my link in the description box below for you guys. So you can see the cases that I have through my link in the description if you want any of the ones that you've seen on my phone or me show in any of these videos but I highly recommend case Defy is the best your phone will always be protected getting your phone fixed is a lot of money so might as well just spend the money on a really good high quality phone case from a company that has thought of everything for you anyway thank you again case Defy, for sponsoring this video and I'm gonna go ahead and get into the rest of the vlog hey, look where we are isn't it beautiful like like seriously beautiful and look they've got cows and horses. That's where we picked up Murph, right there. We just took a family trip back to Hyatt's Goldens. It's like almost an hour away from where we live um, because Murph, Murph, Murph? <laughs> Murphy's getting groomed by Kaylin. Just dropped off Murphy at Hyatt's. So that's where we got him from. And then Kaylin, the um, woman who runs Hyatt's, um, also does grooming and so I trust her to groom and plus I don't really feel like taking Murphy to anyone else but her so I know she's gonna make them look really good so I am getting Murphy groomed there and it's like very far away so now we're having to make a day out of it so it's gonna take like two hours she said so we're in the Starbucks drive through right now getting some snacks except the Starbucks was like 20 minutes from where we dropped Murphy off so now it's already 1.45, so now we've got like less than an hour until we have to go pick it back up. We don't really know what to do. We're looking for somewhere to like grab a snack. But other than that, we don't really know. Thank you. That one's yours. I've got a collection of Starbucks straws. Maybe I should go to a gas station and clean out my car. <laughs> the big dip is your handsome. I can't wait for you guys to see him. And we're getting lunch at Kava. So, it's getting warm in here, Mama. Oh, okay. I'm loading up the stroller. It's Claude. It's Claude. Look at him. He's so handsome. Murphy, look. Here's Murphy, you guys. We got him a um, knuckle bone to help with his bad breath. Murphy, eat your bone, honey. Eat your bone. Good. We'll be getting good stuff and having a good time. What even are you filming? So it's like a promotional video. Okay. Got some packages in the mail and they were all for Sutton. Okay, so first up, you guys know my friend Elle who has shop core jade with the custom embroidered baby clothes. I ordered something else from her because her clothes are literally so cute. I wanted a sweatshirt for Sutton for like fall and winter. So I got this oatmeal sweatshirt with brown stitching. Obviously it just says Sutton but literally adorable. So I ordered her that. And then Kite Baby, Kite Baby sent um, us some new onesies. I'm excited about their whole size up. So I'm excited to wash these and um, put her in them. A brown. And then they also sent this cute little like pink. They're their new fall colors. So that's exciting. And then I got a package from AZL. Aziel, Aziel and Luca. Lord, I don't know. I can't pronounce anything. So let me show you the clothes that they sent to Sutton. They've sent her a box before and literally we wear those clothes all the time. So I'm so excited about these. So first up is this little set. I'll link um, their website down below. Look at how stinking cute. We are very thankful for all the baby PR. And then that's the matching bottoms. And then, we have this cute little fit, which I'm obsessed with. Here's the pattern. All this is gonna be so good for fall too. It's very cute. I think I just said that about the other thing. We've got this little bubble romper, which I'm gonna bring this with us to, um, we're going to VMI this weekend, which is Virginia Military Institute because Connor, his first game is there. And it's only four hours instead of driving to Cornell. So we're going to that and then I don't know if we'll go to another one towards the end of the season because it's going to be so cold. We'll have to see. Here's the next outfit. I'm obsessed with this. This is literally adorable. 
What size is this too? 12 months. Oh my goodness. 12 months. I can't even. Okay, this is a cute set. So here's this little cardigan. And then it comes with the little shorts. This is also 12 months. And then here's another bubble outfit. I'm obsessed. I keep saying that, but I am. Last thing is this outfit. How cute is this? Little gingham situation. And this is also for when she's a little bit bigger. I think this is six to nine. So yeah, anyways, we have the cutest clothes for her now for fall. And I feel like I don't have to buy her any clothes because we barely ever leave, barely put her in clothes. So we will be set. Anyways, I love this company so much. I am gonna have everything linked below, but we had a little sudden mail day, which is so cute. And yeah, we are very thankful. first time I've ever had it and it was like honestly amazing <laughs> so yeah I just heated this back up for me in the oven and this is gonna be dinner for me I'm gonna read my book I just started the book when she returned and I took a break from reading for like a hot minute because we just got really busy and then also the last book I read was like so bad so it kind of like I wasn't really motivated to start a new book just because I was like ugh because I finally finished that one but now I'm starting it it's really good it's about um this woman who is married and has a baby and she was at Target one day and she got like kidnapped not with her child though just her and she was kidnapped and then she returned 11 years later like just showed up out of nowhere and she was like, hey, I'm that girl who got kidnapped. It's actually really good so far, so that's good. Because, like, whenever you read a book and it's not good, then I feel like it kind of puts you out of your, like, reading grind. Like, I've read a lot of good books in a row. And so I was, like, reading, reading, reading. And then when you get a bad one, I just feel like it totally puts you out of your groove. Yeah, there's dinner. If you haven't been to Costco and you haven't tried out their lasagna, I would try it out because it's good. Your good boy's had a long day. He's asleep already. Say good morning, you guys. Hey. Good job. We've been up since like 8 this morning. She kind of slept in. And I even had time to get up, do skincare, and um, get ready for my workout before she ever woke up. So I just put my workout clothes on and I fed her. And now I'm waiting for Colin to get back from letting Murphy out before I can leave for my workout. But we've got a busy day today. We're completely prepping for going out of town tomorrow. Move her over a little bit. Oh, my battery's exhausted. Okay, so like I was saying before my um, camera died and then I had to go. Uh, we are going out of town tomorrow and I'm pretty sure I was supposed to turn right there. I missed my turn again goodness we are going out of town tomorrow for connor's first football game so i'm excited i ordered us some stuff to wear because we only have like wintery things because cold in ithaca new york 
so I got us like a Colony t-shirt. I got me a hat. I, yeah. So anyway, that's on that. We're going to his game and we're leaving tomorrow, staying in an Airbnb with his family. And yeah, it'll be really fun working out today, getting my nails done today, packing today, laundry today, doing all the things today. So we've got a busy day ahead of us and we love that. We're currently at the Steel Creek Orange Theory. Ignore my gross window. Workout done. Secured my free drink from Starbucks. Have I gone every single day that pumpkin has been out? No, but have I gone a lot? Yes. But did I also have a gift card this whole time? Yes, my gift card has finally run out and I got my free drink and now we're gonna limit the Starbucks, I promise, because it's an addiction. But I'm on the way home right now. Sutton just went down for a nap. So I need to decide when to get my new stuff. It's a whole process. I stopped at the parcel place and I got a ton of Amazon packages from like the influencer program so like shopping with my credit and then a few things that we need to go out of town this weekend and I don't know how I'm gonna carry all this in let me show you what was in the Amazon boxes first being this hat for me to wear to the game this weekend it's a little tight but we'll make it work just as the Cornell logo um also got this puffer vest which came air sealed so I feel like it needs to expand a little bit more and like look better but I, it's like my one that I got from H&M but this one's just brown and it was like significantly inexpensive so I was like okay that could be cute got her another love baby onesie in a bigger size because she's getting to be a big girl I got this oversized um I think the brand's Wrangler yeah men's oversized denim shirt except i think i might have gone too oversized and like underestimated how big it is like it's it's very oversized i'm wondering if maybe i could just like cut it and have a bra him like if it was up to here it'd be better like that's good but it's like very very big so i don't know what i'm gonna do about this Maybe I should just return and get a different one. Probably that's what I'm gonna do. And then I got these waffle shirts because I thought they'd be like nice and cozy for um, fall and winter. They're big and oversized and I thought they'd be really good with like leggings and Uggs or clogs or something. So I got it in this tan color and then also gray. And then also got a sippy cup for her to start drinking water out of and some more clothes. And it says that they're delivered and um, I just went to the parcel place and they're not there. So either somebody stole or something happened. I really don't know. I just showered and put on this little romper from Old Navy, but I have a nail appointment at 3.30. Just called and scheduled it. I'm always so last minute with my nail appointments. I'm never, I'm never on time or ahead of schedule or anything with those but I just also whipped out the suitcase I'm gonna see if I can which this will be like a literal miracle if you know me but I'm gonna see if I can pack mine and set and stuff just in that because we're only gonna be gone for two days but seriously it's gonna be hard if I can do that in my weekender carry-on I feel like I should be able to also this drawer of hers is a mess I need to go through it but I'm bringing this can you put her clothes in the dryer for me please bringing her Cornell bow too. So her sweatshirt and her bow. And then... So I actually did an outfit change. I just put on one of the tan waffle shirts that I just got. And a pair of jean shorts. And I've got 15 minutes. Why is my car still on? About 15 minutes before my appointment, so I ran into a Target to get more popcorn. Done. I also just saw um, Colin and my friend Kyle from high school, um, so that was fun. But I got Nude 01. I love. I've gotten these before, but they're literally just the perfect nude. So, so okay. I'm. Oh my god! I need to shave my legs so bad. Sometimes I just feel like my legs don't grow hair because I can't feel it ever. Like, it, my legs, fun fact, 
legs never prickly also here are my nails oh I got a different shape wait what the heck why am I being so like nonchalant about this I got a different shape I can't find the good lighting either I ended up just going for like a natural look I don't know tell me what shape you guys like better this shape or oval because I did switch it up I was inspired by Wesleyan but what am I not but um because she got this and I've seen people like on TikTok getting this shape instead of oval like being more like natural looking and also when my nails grow out and they're oval I like feel like I scratch something all the time so I'm gonna try this out I do like oval but also I'm like loving this whole like natural look you know I'm gonna move my rings over to my other finger and I'm gonna take a picture of my nails but hopefully you can't see my leg hair so what am I doing wasting so much time I have so much to do okay so moral of the story is I have to ask you guys something have you seen on TikTok how people are getting their Dyson vacuums for $215 so I've been to three Targets now and none of them are doing it. So I'm like over it. I'm done searching for a $250 Dyson vacuum. And I, w I do like seriously want a Dyson though because of like when Sutton starts crawling. First of all, we're implementing no shoes in the house roll or in the apartment. I cannot wait till we have a house though. And I, I have like three. I, I talk about this all the time because seriously, I'm so over living in an apartment. I have like... A couple mandatories for our house which by the way we're gonna be taking like weekend trips to Atlanta we can kind of like feel out and decide what area we want to live in like I just want to go and see them before we blindly like rent a, so a house somewhere because one we're not gonna buy until the market is better and two I don't want to buy until I've lived in Atlanta for at least a year so I know a hundred percent where we are buying a house is in a location that I like because I like have we've never lived there before and I do not want to make the mistake of buying a house somewhere where I wish we were in like a totally different location so I feel like that's necessary before buying buying we want to buy so bad though so in the future like in the next two years I really hope that we're buying and that the market doesn't like do the same thing again but by the way the Clarins lip oils I wear all the time and I'm genuinely obsessed and I really want to try the road lip treatment thing but I always miss when it restocks but I'm like really into lip oil right now at the moment so that's on that second the things that I want to have in a house I'm like rambling I'm so sorry I want a window in the kitchen so random I know I want a fenced in backyard I want a garage and I want amazing lighting is that too much to ask for a rental? That might be way too much to ask, but I want a garage for us to like put the stroller and stuff in the garage and like keep everything in there. Plus I can keep my car in the garage and then that way the car seat can just stay in the car while it's parked all the time instead of us having to bring it in. Cause half the time all the clutter is like all the baby things like the stroller, the car seat, all that stuff. And you know, when you have a baby, you literally need a lot and that like it's so much for an apartment which is another reason why I want to move but I want like a big open living room that might be like way too much to ask for a rental but we'll see so anyways what like was I even talking about oh I want to implement the no shoes in the house rule and I want to get a Dyson so I can just quickly take it out and vacuum because Murph loses just so much hair so much hair all day every day we love him but so much hair and you like have to be prepared for that when you get a golden which we were but it's like okay I'm prepared for the hair but I need a Dyson I just feel like I need one so if you have a Dyson and you have a golden retriever comment down below which one you have because there's like the v8 the v10 I know I have to get an animal for like animal but I don't know let me know that was like such a long clip telling you guys I'm talking to you guys sorry but I had all those things that I just really felt like I needed to say just came home to a slow cooker dinner and also Sutton getting her banana did you get some banana was it good say yum 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 tastes good wait wait let's see if she can grab it
Whoa, did you see that? Yeah, like shot out. <laughs> for dinner, Colin made pulled pork sandwiches. Are you guys all jealous? My husband's a master chef, or what? Uber Eats is about to be my best friend when he leaves me for a month to go to Montana because my mom can't cook the way he does. I can't cook the way he does. It's truly going to be devastating. I don't know what I'm going to do. What am I going to eat? Seriously. Every plate. I have, I have every plate meal stocked up for when he's gone. Okay. Here's a barbecue sandwich. I put on this barbecue sauce. Giving Murphy some fat, and then Colin had it has his own. Colin did this barbecue sauce. So, anyways, look at that. It turned out really good. I waited until today to pack because last night the lighting went away. So I was like, okay, whatever. I'm gonna film this today instead. Um, but that way I can kind of show you guys what we would pack. When we're going away on a weekend trip. So I have my um, base carry-on bag right here. So I'm going to try, like I said, and fit everything in here. So for Sutton, I'm bringing her baby Air Force Ones. I'm going to try and get them on. And then I've got like this much diapers just to be safe. And then um, we have her baby ointment. Oh, Colin! Colin, can you get her bath shampoo out and stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then a pack of wipes. Her changes, her sleep sack from Kite Baby. Can you grab her towel? Yeah. Yes. And her towel for at night are coming with. I'm bringing... This outfit for the game and I'm also bringing this outfit as an alternative for the game of a baby Cornell sweatshirt and also we have her headband which is in there and then I've got tights for you know I don't really know why I think that those might be unnecessary those are unnecessary we're not gonna bring them we're not gonna bring them then I have this hat to block the sun in case it's super sunny out for the game so I'm gonna pack her clothes clothes her game day clothes i know i'm gonna feed you as soon as i am done with this and then for pajamas we've got four different pajama options like just little onesies in case we're also bringing two books because we always read books in the morning so they probably should have packed those okay so i'm just gonna slide these underneath the diapers Okay, we're also bringing her baby Bjorn bouncer just to set her in because it folds up and it's easy to transport. Oh, crap. Also, bringing a bird cloth. I'm going to put this in with her socks, though. But honestly, she does not spit up very often, so we don't need a ton of bird cloths. Okay. Now, for me, I'm going to bring two pant options. Both of these are from Rolas for the game. So I recently got these off of Revolve and they fit really nice. I actually am slowly becoming obsessed with like Rolas jeans. So I'm packing those. All right. And then I'm packing my new Rolas jean shorts from Lulu's or, oh my God, I'm losing my mind. These are the jeans. And then I had just packed the jean shorts. Okay. Glad we could clear that up. So I have two options. I can either do jeans or jean shorts for the game. The only thing is they take up a ton of room in your suitcase. This is the hat that I'm wearing to the game. And either of these white tank tops I'm going to wear. I'm unsure of which one I want to wear, so I brought two. But they're different. They look similar, but they're different. They're both from Abercrombie. So... Bring bras, sports bras, socks, socks, nursing bra, underwear, pajamas. I'm bringing my pink pajamas from Target. They're my favorite. My Aloha sandals as a shoe option. I'm bringing my Air Force ones and I'm bringing my Burke dupes. Also bringing a Cornell sweatshirt. Okay, so then for my weekender bag from base that's what I'm also gonna bring 
I usually put my hair tools, so this time I'm bringing my straightener and my waver. I'm not gonna do my hair while I'm there because we're only gonna be there for like two days. So I'm just gonna dry shampoo it up and figure it out. And plus I'm wearing a hat to the game, so that works out for that. So I'm gonna have those be in there and then of the top bag I'm gonna do shoes so my Air Force ones and my Aloha's and then I'm gonna wear my Burke dupes I almost forgot my skincare I should have put that in the other bag dang I better can fit in here though nope I'm gonna actually put my skincare in here I bet I can just zip and slide it in isn't this bag so cute though it's from Amazon looks like stony clover so. I'm bringing this whole bag with all my pump parts and stuff and then my like pre-pumped milk is already in here it's a bottle bag from itsy ritzy it's actually really convenient it's on amazon i can link it two phone charger computer charger stanley cup she's chilling in there sunglasses do you want to go for a ride Murph? do you want to go for a ride Right. Do you want to go spend the weekend at Gigi's house? Do you want to go to Gigi's house? Okay. I always write out a little list. So it says bottles, pump, pump parts, charger, body armor, tummy time app, baby, Bjorn, sound machine, phone chargers, computer chargers, camera, battery, sunglasses, vitamins, so I don't forget. Those are like the must-haves. Okay. Pretty much other than that, I just have to, we have to get Sutton in her um, car seat. And then we're out of here. Mom, bye. bye Murphy. Bye Sutton. Bye buddy. Stopped for a diaper change mm. and feeding. Yum. Guys, our Airbnb is in a national forest. In the middle of nowhere. Oh shoot, Sutton's sleeping. She just fell asleep. I mean, worst case scenario, we just drive back out. Wait, I feel like your mom would have told us we have to go over this. <laughs> Bare that necessities. Definitely is doable if all these cars are over here, but definitely sketchy as hell. Whoa, did you see that? Yeah, the dog. Oh, it's a dog. I thought it was like a wild wolf. No, it's a dog. <laughs> This area is cool though. That's it right there. Where? Right here with the fireplace. Straight ahead. Straight this way? Yeah. Thank God. Can you turn on the volume? Are you sure? Yes, I remember. And there's your parents' car. Oh, thank God. Yeah, that is cute. I know. At least there's other people staying around us. Not there being a, just a random good boy here. Hi. Where do you belong? I'm concerned for him. Also, there's gunshots. <laughs> but look at how cute. Here's our room. Bathroom. I have to work too. I have a video that has to go up. I just have to. I'm just gonna set my computer up so I can export something. Shower. The whole time we're here. So What's this? Oh, closet. Did you lock my car? I mean, I, I didn't, but I'm sure it's fine. We can just lock it from right here. <laughs> nope, but we got a thousand dollar stroller in there, so we better lock it. Kitchen. Outdoor area. Back to the bath. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm blocking it. For a diaby change. Is it time for a good morning diaby change? Huh? Good morning. Okay, Sutton slept just so bad last night. She was super cranky and just not happy with anything. But it's okay, we are gonna recover today. I'm currently getting ready because um, it's a 1.30 game. And so I'm gonna shower. I don't really know what I wanna wear yet today. Like I brought those options. I don't know if I wanna do jeans or shorts. I might like try on the outfits and see. Um, because I just have no idea what I want to do. Oh crap, I think I forgot a hair clip. But yeah, I'm going to pop on a podcast and then I'm just going to shower real quick. Just body shower, I'm not washing my hair. Um, I'm just going with it like dirty and I'm either going to, I'm probably going to like wave it. So I'm doing the tank top that like cuts in more with um, my jeans, so we'll see how this goes. But I did just wave my hair, I used my Bondi Boost waver, and I'm just putting in this um, hair oil from JVN. Hello? Hello. How's it going? <gasps> Hi, Zephyr. She's just getting a little fussy. What? I was getting close to her feeding time. Um, what time her is it? Her hair looks nice. Thanks. Um, I just put it at 8.30. Yeah, it's 9.17. Okay, so? So, so no. Oh. Uh -huh. She might just be like, it's, I think she's just out of her element. You know? Yeah. Probably. So the JVN hair oil I've been using lately a lot, you can barely tell actually. So that's good. The product must last a long time, but you'll need a couple drops. But I've been using this a lot for um, my hair when it's dry because, I don't know, I find that whenever I use the like Olaplex number 9, I think it is, hair oil. Or even my one from day when I use it on my hair when it's dry, it kind of like weighs my hair down in my opinion. And this one never does and it makes my hair literally so shiny. So I've been trying to put it on my hair like literally every day to like revamp my hair. I think it's working. I don't know. Um, I can link this below though. I like literally recommend so much. It is, I think it's like rose oil or something like that. Oh, I need jewelry. Okay. Okay. Here's finished makeup. There's a window right here, but it's not very bright in here. There, that's better. Finished makeup, outfit. I'm wearing these roll -ups. I'm just obsessed. This is what we're wearing. from here on out because I didn't feel like bringing my camera into the game. It's big, but we're all ready. So but Cornelled out and 
we are backing out of our little Airbnb. We're in this area. It was really confusing when we were driving in here yesterday, but we're in this area in like a national forest in the middle of nowhere with no cell service. I don't know what Colin's doing. Well, I was gonna back into their driveway. Okay. But there's like a bunch of cabins, so we think that they're all it's like, like a vacation stay Oh my god. Right Look out. Literally, Murphy's nose art is all over the window. Yeah, I don't know, it's pretty cool. There's another cabin. And there's like this bridge over here. That's how you like get over here. Yeah, see, it's pretty cool. We left like an hour and a half ago, right? Or two hours ago. Yeah, we're like we're like two hours and forty minutes away. Okay. And it was like four hours and ten or four four hours and thirty minutes ish we left. So we've been driving for like an hour and a half. We stopped at Starbucks. They made an extra pineapple refresher, so they gave it to us. So I wanna try it. Morning. Hi guys! <laughs> Hi guys, we missed you. Okay, I'm trying the pumpkin refresher. There's like pumpkin chunks in I mean pumpkin refresher. What am I saying? <laughs> pumpkin. Pineapple. Did you taste the pineapple chunks? I don't want a pineapple. Chunk. I didn't eat one of those. So. I don't like it. Orange Theory over there. We're in a nice part of Virginia. We've never been here before. We're in Blacksburg, 
Virginia right now. I cannot talk to save my life. And we're going through a Chipotle that has a drive through There's a chicken salad chick. There's an earth fair over there. Oh my God. Uh-oh. Colin messed up. <laughs> Colin really messed up. Should we just go inside? Because of how long the line is. So we were in the Starbucks drive through but we were sitting there for like 15 minutes and literally didn't move at all. So I spotted a Jersey Mike's over here next to the Orange Theory. So now Colin ran into Jersey Mike's and I just finished feeding her. And now we're just like letting her stretch and stuff. But I do think she just pooped. So we're going to have to change her diaper. And she's been over here just playing with my Starbucks cup. Say yummy Starbucks. Pretty, pretty yummy Starbucks. Traveling with a baby is actually super easy. We just stop every couple hours. If she falls asleep for a while, then we'll stop whenever she wakes up, feed her, change her diaper. See, it's chill. Bring some toys for you. Mommy sits in the back to entertain you. Also, I just like can't sit in the front seat. I want to sit back here with her. Right? Mommy wants to sit back here with you. It's kinda hot. Should I turn on the air some more? Should I turn up the air? Oh, there's daddy! Back. Long lines around here, huh? Hopping in there. They were <laughs> going crazy because they had so many onloaders and so many people in there. Alright, um, I'm gonna go back in because now I have to go to the bathroom after waking that whole time. Um, okay. So I'll be back. Okay. Sorry. It's okay. Are back home and I'm editing this vlog to get up for you guys. And I just realized I never ended it yet again. So I need to start remembering to end my vlogs. But here we are. So I wanted to thank Casey again for sponsoring this video. The link for you guys to get a discount will be in the description box below. And no book review again because life has just been busy but we are 73 percent done with the book that i'm reading so next vlog 100 percent for sure we will have a book of the vlog but you know sometimes life gets in the way and life got in the way so it's gonna be okay we're fine book of the vlog coming next vlog you want to like keep up with my list of what i'm reading or like what i want to read and stuff like that in the meantime my goodreads will be linked down below so you guys can see what i've read what i want to read my ratings and all that stuff and i will see you guys in my next vlog